two parts. Okay, so we got these uh, covers here that we're about to put on Jim's car. That will be the first thing that we install. It goes right there. And then they also give you cleaning supplies. We have Jim in today's video, and Jim's stinger. And we got Costa, who's gonna be doing the installs. As you can see, the cover's sticking out there. So you see it makes a big difference. Right, now we are opening up the diffuser by Adro. This is the Adro V3. That's Adro. Oh. So we 3M it there. As you can see on the sides, it gets okay. screwed on. I feel much better about this then. It's screwed on both sides. It's screwed twice in the middle. Because I don't like, like trusting through the 3M double-sided oh. tape. Amen. And as you can see, this already looks incredible on the car. Like. Oh my goodness. Dude, it looks like you put a... Uh, we're turning this into the Millennium. So then you'll get these screws here that will come with the diffuser. Yeah, they're gonna take place of these. Yep. Take from some They'll take off the 3M tucked under here. At the very end, you will screw it into the sides here. Build obviously. I mean Out in the middle of BFB. Road trip. No. Here is what it looks like after the diffuser is on the car. This is ridiculous. I love it. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of uh, this diffuser? And then how would you compare this to the V2 diffuser? Would you prefer the V2 or the V3? I like this. This is different. Not too many people have the V3, so. so the V3 is a one-piece diffuser, and the V2 is a three-piece diffuser. Costa is uh, taking out the spoiler, what the video is all about, what we came here to see, the spoiler being installed on the car, because there's no videos of this yet. Look at the carbon. Let me put it together. After, well, let's put it up. Look at how perfect this thing is. It's perfectly cut, pre preg all, all it means is it, uh, it has the glue infused into it. So when you cook it, that's when it hardens. Unscrew these side screws that are already installed on there. So same thing to this side, bolts out, side piece on there. Use those same screws Take to make sure it doesn't on. go anywhere. All right, bring this beautiful piece over here so we could check it out into the sun. As you can see, it's carbon fiber literally all around everywhere. This beautiful weave, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. This is a uh, pre-preg carbon fiber. So we have uh, Spectre's name on here. What is his name? Is it uh, these three pieces, right, are going to be drilled into the trunk, the deck lid here. So test fitment. Brother, this is sick. Costa needs to take out the deck lid. piece right here. So we're going to be drilling into it. So what you have to do is you have to take off this cover oh. in, order, <laughs> in order to access the deck lid underneath. It's gonna be bolted on, and then you're gonna have to really Remember force the pressure and push it oh, yeah. out. We, yeah. All the clips and screws are taken out. Unscrewing have the screws. Painter Costa is doing is measuring. So now after the indents are placed on, he's marking it with a marker. Who's nervous? No, no turning back now. Burn, Costa. Here we go. All right, so once the bolts are out of this carbon fiber piece, the center the screws are the first ones that are going to go in. Drilling the side holes here. Now the tape couldn't come off. Stick through that washer. Perfect. Uh, how you make your holes 
that's underneath. Um, it might be a little floppy. Everyone's holes aren't gonna be in the exact same spot. To get an idea where ours is lined up here. So this middle one's kind of close to the edge, as you can see. But then the two outer ones are a little bit off. These are OEM wheels and just uh, powder coated and this beautiful bronze. So yeah, man, this his car is turning out pretty cool. More 3M to reinforce everything. Beastly stuff, as we can see, holds up to 15 pounds. And it's not that thick. red carbon fiber steering wheel that he won at the Stinger meet. All right, so this is one of the button trim pieces. All right, and then here's the second one. And then this is the GT piece that goes on the bottom. Mix up your color pieces because you could customize it any colors you want. You could do green, purple, blue, black, red, whatever. And I personally like mixing and matching. Switches things up a little bit. Yeah, dude, that looks awesome. Yeah, and it ties into the rest of the car. This thing looks awesome. It is completed and on the car, finally. Uh, Jim is not satisfied, though. Jim, tell him what you want. A new deck lid. He wants a new deck lid, so he wants everything carbon fiber, which I don't blame him. Uh, it already looks sick, though. This thing looks incredible not for everyone not everyone's gonna love it we understand that uh this is this is definitely my taste though i'm one of them Costa, it's not Costa's taste but fat wing baby let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh, next time jim is coming here we're gonna do a bunch of other stuff we still have the front lip the side skirt we under the hood pieces like the engine intake blow up valve oil catch can and then we got the steering wheel we got snorkel ducts we got air vent replacements and deck lid again because it's got to be carbon fiber now he wants to switch it up uh, i box sway bars and lowering springs and lowering springs so we got a lot to do to this beast of a car all right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace. All right, so we are all set here. Jim is ready to go, Costa. Thank you so much. Again, Noel, you did amazing. Jim, awesome ride, man. Sick. Take care, man.